Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand, he's very quick, he's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night, he rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. champion, Drakus Duplessis. And even though, of course, he wanted to beat Israel Adesanya for the title, it ended up being Sean Strickland. This man's the best in the world. And he has had knockers and doubters every step of the way. They knocked his cardio. They knocked his grappling. The man can fight. The man's a born fighter, as are a lot of individuals who grow up in South Africa. And now that he's the champion, in theory, he's 20 to 30% better. We'll see if the incumbent can get dethroned here tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now placed the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at Team Auto Arena in Las Vegas for that. Our tail of the day for this heavyweight championship. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, oh gotta keep pressing here. Big right hand. right hook attempt, but it's no good. Fast pace here in the early goings. McGregor gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. And a nice left hand there on the inside. 
see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. right hand. Well, he rocked him, but he didn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, has to try to find that shot again. Well, it seems like there has been a... He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, huge kick to the leg. been in range, but he's oh, great technique on the overhand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you're in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, oh with authority, the body. Oh. oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Block there. Get your hands up higher. Ten seconds to go in the round. Uh, one shot to the uh, end of uh, round uh, one. Uh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many. He just started looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. And back to his feet. go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Gregus Silva Duplessis. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight.